Imagine your body as a tall building. What's it made of? Just like a building is made up of bricks, our body is made up of cells. But unlike bricks, static and unconscious in a wall, cells are very much alive. They interact with each other and send millions of signals near and far and communicate 24 seven. That's what our lecture is about today, cellular signaling and cell-to-cell -cell interactions. Let us first start with the forms of signaling known to us so far. In humans, the complexity of cellular interactions is intense. Therefore, to study and understand it better, in, uh, the interactions are divided into four major types, depending on how far or near the signal is going to get delivered. These four types are autocrine signaling, paracrine signaling, endocrine signaling, cell-to-cell -cell contact or direct contact. We will discuss all of these in detail and also go through some examples to fully understand the role of each type of signaling. One must keep in mind that the main difference between these categories of signaling is the distance that the signal travels to reach its target cell or site. It is also interesting to know that not all cells get affected by the same signal. They are selective in recognizing and responding to various signals that reach them. It's also important to know that chemical signals that act at higher concentrations act locally in proximity and have rapid signaling cascades. On the contrary, chemical signals that act at low concentrations act on cells or receptors present at distances and are generally slower. The first step for cellular interactions is signal perception. That is, the binding of a ligand to a receptor present on the surface of a cell. If the ligand is a match for the receptor, it will bind and initiate a cascade of intracellular signal transduction. There are different signaling pathways through which signal transduction is initiated. These pathways are discussed in detail in another lecture. This signal transduction leads to a response from cells or effector's organ. This is known as cellular or cell effector organ response. The basic principle of cell-to-cell -cell signaling is followed by all four types of interactions mentioned previously. Now, head on to the next section for details on autocrine signaling.